Tak. Okay. Day seven of the surgery means the, the big granuloma lump was removed from this elbow. Now we have a photo there before surgery, which we will show from the handphone. Now, as you can see, the stitches have broken down very almost 100%, and uh, this lump was actually very big, as you can see. You can see from uh, it's too bright. It's too bright. Come, come this side. Uh, you can't see anything. No, this side. You, you can you hold, you hold. See, you can see now. Okay, as you can see from the photo, he had a very big granuloma there, leaking on his elbow. Now this lump was cut off, huh? and. Because there's not enough skin to stitch up and this area normally is under very high tension so the stitches on day 7 all break down. Huh? Now, there, there is not enough skin to stitch up so what I would do is normally I would do the one cut here so that the skin will open up and and will be less tension on it. So, so this side will be, so you, hold, you hold, follow my finger, uh, this side then, there's one cut here. So this part will be an open, open wound, open granulation, but this part will heal, but this part will, will have a big wound here, but it doesn't matter because this part is not uh, serious, so this part is serious because it, this is a moving part. A moving so the stitch breaks down easier. Now the other problem is this dog had a big lump here about uh, bigger than a golf ball size and this lump pull up the skin as you can see let go first and so tomorrow I will remove this lump then there will be some skin to come down to come down and, uh, and let this this part of the wound I will redo again I'll see up a bit uh, I will redo again and then this, this, this part of the skin where the lump has been removed will have some skin to come down uh, to come down and close up. So the important thing is, uh, the important thing is a very tight, high tension area. You have to open up one wound here, so that when you stitch up and when a dog move, this part won't break. Once it breaks, it becomes the same thing again. There's a big hole again, huh? and it won't granulate so easily. It has some people may think it's so easy to granulate. This is going to be a difficult again. And that's why the owner came to me because at first it was a small, small uh, wound. The, the, the dog licked it every day for the one year, so it became such a big one. Uh. So that's what I will do tomorrow. Uh, what's the weight actually? Six point, uh, first time is six point day one. Now it's six point four. Yeah, so he did lose weight after surgery, right? Yeah, because he not eating for about two or four days. Ah, uh, but now the baby come back. Yeah, two days that. Okay. Every come back, okay. And uh, he, he drinks water. Yeah, drink. I can put down. Finish all the that three hundred ml overnight. Mm. It passed normal stools. Uh, no stool. No stool for yeah. for seven days. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, then urine. The first feet AD. Mm. Urine. Urine normal. Mm. Yeah, but now 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 he he definitely looks much better and recovered. And you notice Westies have this skin disease, huh? Come, uh, leave up again. Now this skin disease is. It's really usually on the lower side of the body, yeah, you see? And, and, and uh, they are all black, you see? Huh? And what's the reason? Uh, we, we think it's due to the breed. Uh, uh, the breed. Uh, and normally it's very hard to cure. And they, 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 they can find yeast and fungus and bacteria inside. Now one other, one other reason of course would be the, the allergies. Uh, so some allergy then causing it to to leak, leak and scratch. So the whole lower body becomes black. Now there's a name for it, which I can't remember now. Uh, we check the internet, Westy skin disease, you will find it. Uh. And uh, so this is an example of the Westy breed having a skin disease. Uh. Now 
He seems to be biting his tail, right? Go check his inner sac, huh? Biting his tail. Okay, so now we have. Uh, check his teeth and see. Is his teeth okay? Does he bite? Uh, the other side, his color is good, huh? You can see it's very pink. Check the, the cheek teeth. Huh? The back one, back one. Is it very good? Pull up higher a bit for me to video. Yeah, his teeth is okay, you know. And he's 14 years old. And the teeth is really good and solid. Look at his gums. Huh? You see the color is very pink. Press the gum. Capillary refill time is less than one second. That means the color comes with less than one second. So this dog actually is very healthy in the in the blood system. Huh? And uh, so Tomorrow we will do the operation to remove this, uh, show this lump here. So, tomorrow we will remove this lump, which is bigger than a golf ball. And then uh, try and get the skin down to, uh, to give the, release the tension.